but we're thrilled that um, we can get together today. This has uh, become a ritual for us, I think, our 24th year, if I'm not mistaken, uh, maybe 25th, 24th or 5th, and it's a day that we all look forward to because it um, represents a great deal of effort on a lot of people's part, but the greatest part about it is we get to make a lot of donations to a lot of worthwhile causes in not only our local neighborhood, but that benefit children and families uh, all pretty much in our hometown. And um, it, would, it would be, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't say that while uh, the economy over the last few years may not have been perfect, um, our golf outing and our ability to raise money has gotten better every year. And remarkably, in 2013, our golf outing was a record ever. We raised over $43,000 at our outing, and I want to congratulate everybody that participated. I also want to make mention of the fact that um, a great deal of the inspiration, uh, or some might say perspiration, for having the golf outing be a success um, belongs to Dan Corby, who's our day-to-day -day leader here. So, Dan, thank you very much. There's a number of other people here, um, Jackie, who uh, you know masterfully um, guides the process. Sherry and her team, who handle dollars and a lot of um, cheer, a lot of the uh, uh, well, they they do a lot of the legwork when we actually have the event, uh, donate their time, uh, and uh, of course. Freddie and Brenda, who um, clearly are in our community, sort of the face and the arms and the legs of this whole effort. And as some of you may or may not know, many of these dollars that we raise today, we provide in terms of different kinds of merchandise to some of the beneficiaries. And Fred and Brenda almost exclusively handle finding what they need, buying what they need, delivering it to the right people, and in some cases it's delivering it to families and homes or apartments. So we wouldn't be anywhere without your efforts, so thank you so much. We also have uh, two other things to just make mention of today. Um, we also have a 5K, and this year was our 14th year that we did that. The beneficiary of that is the Barbara Ann Carmanos Cancer Institute, and that took place this last May, and we also are going to present the checks to Carmanos today, and then lastly, we also have a check for John Glenn High School, which is part of the Ford Drive One For Your School program, and both Ford makes a contribution when <coughs> they take a test drive at the school on a given day, and then North Brothers also makes a contribution and so, even though it's not specifically related to our golf outing, there are two others that we're going to do today. So, we got a lot of money hand up, to hand out, so um, we're glad to be able to do it. And with that, I guess what I'd like to do is, do you have anything you want to say? Well, just thanks again to the team, to all of you, uh, various degrees of participation, but the employees and the management here make it possible for us to do this. I want to thank you again uh, and remind everybody just briefly our history of how we came about selecting these beneficiaries. Twenty Over 20 years ago, Doug and I realized that a lot of people were asking us for donations and we narrowed down who we wanted to support regularly year after year to groups that were local right here in this part of town and affected a lot of people. So rather than a, 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 a very worthwhile uh, charity that might affect one or two, we chose the local charity that might affect 102. And so they're all local and they all affect a lot of people and the majority of those are women and children. Not all, but the majority. And so just a reminder, in case you're wondering how we ended up with these group of, this group of beneficiaries, we set that a standard a long, long time ago. 
and we really, really are proud we've been able to keep it local and affect a lot of families in, in a great way. So through the hard work of the folks that you'll hear from in a moment that are going to receive the money, they take it from there and go make that happen and touch all those lives. So um, it starts in this room, everybody's hard work and experience, and then uh, they take the money and do what it's capable of doing. So just a, a little more on that. Thanks for being here. Lunch will be served shortly, but we've got some important things to do now. So, Okay, with that, why don't we, uh, I will ask you to come on up and we have a, a chat for you. And then maybe we can get a few pictures and if you all would like to make any comments, you'd be welcome to do that. So why don't we start with youth, youth assistance. Paul and Jackie, come on up. All we have for Paul and Jackie and their program is ten thousand dollars today. Wow. So. How about uh, Brian from the YMCA? Brian, are you here? There you are. Great. Brian Wolverton from the Lone YMCA. <laughs> dollars that supports the Strong Kids campaign, and that's directed to youth primarily in West End. So, Brian, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sheila Buckman from Starfish. Sheila, thanks for coming today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, no, wish list. Uh, Katie. Kelizuski, oh, is that pretty good? Close. You're close. Not bad. From uh, Far Branch Carmanos, come on. And Maureen Bender is also here. Oh, great, Maureen. Thank you, so <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on in line. Hop in line with everybody. And, uh, Thank you. And then we've got Angela from the Wayne County Family Show. Come on up, Angela. And for Angela, we've got a wish list of $11,371. So, Marcy from Forgotten Harvest. Marcy, come on up. We've got $5,000 for Forgotten Harvest, so thank you very much. Uh, next, we have Carol from Lighthouse. Come on up, Carol. And we have another $5,000 wish list, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And lastly, we have Vice Principal Grove from Westland John West. Come on up, Sherry. And we don't have a big check for you, but we got one that you can cash. Thank you very much. Come on, Mike. So there you have it. Um, while not strictly the golf outing, golf outing, 5K, and drive one for your school. So congratulations. <laughs> By all means. Hi, uh, Paul Motz from Westland Youth Assistance. Mayor Wild couldn't be here to, today. He got stuck in a meeting in, in Detroit. He wanted to, to, to be here. Uh, these words are, are for me, and hopefully he'll be uh, agreeable and supportive of these comments as well. Uh, North Brothers Ford has been so kind and generous to our program for so many years. And when I hear that goal of how many lives can we touch, I, I look at it as if we're helping our young people who can have better relationships with other kids, their community, their school, and so many other people that they come into contact with, this is what you're looking for, and this is what we're delivering. Uh, because of you guys, we were able to provide such a, a wide array, array of program services, life choice classes, parenting groups, mentoring, guest speaker presentations, recreational opportunities, the list goes on and on. Because we're not exactly sure what helps the kids, we just know that we do help them, and we want to be able to do a good job as we do if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you very much. An executive director at the Lavoie Family Y. I want to personally thank all of you that had an opportunity to support Smart Brothers. Uh, you get to give me the greatest gift 
uh, to allow people uh, to consider friends and family and obviously kids to come to our summer camp where we get to instill values in them that uh, maybe they wouldn't have the opportunity to get. So thank you very much. Hi, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Sheila Walkman. I'm with Starfish Game and Sur Services. Um, at Starfish, we serve over almost 1,100 kids daily in any of our programs. We serve 10,000 families and children every year. So with this generosity, it'll go a long way to helping our children and the families. So thank you so much. My name is Maureen Bender. I'm the Director of Corporate Relations and Events at Carmanos, and Katie Kalshevsky is here with me. Um, we're both delighted to be here, and I just want to thank everyone on behalf of the Institute and all of our patients, um, the North Brothers family, all of you for everything you do, Jackie especially. Um, we appreciate all of your efforts in coordinating the walk and all of your help. And uh, I just want to let you know that um, it's been 14 years, I think, that the, the event's been going on, and about, at, until today, it was $76,000 has been raised for our breast cancer research programs at the Institute. And in that time, um, in, in 14 years, a lot of amazing progress has been made. Um, sometimes it's hard to see when you're not right on the, the front lines of breast cancer research, but some amazing progress has been made. Some amazing new treatments are available that weren't available 10 years ago. And uh, that really wouldn't happen without all of your support. So it's, it's truly the money that you raise. It's every dollar counts. And we spend that into large federal grants. So honestly, any, any, yeah, any support that we get from our community, we make sure that we take and we invest in in our future. And we so appreciate everything that you're doing. So thank you. I'm the director of the Wayne County Family Center, which is a program of Lutheran Social Services of Michigan. Um, we house over 200 homeless families on an annual basis, and these are families who have lost their homes. Um, they specifically have to be families with children, so you can be the children of your community who have, don't have a safe place to stay. Um, they stay at our center, and during that time, we link them with staff who provide them case management services to eventually get them into permanent housing. Um, so we would not be in existence if it weren't for the generous contributions of North Brothers and all of your hard work. Um, like all of us standing here, um, we rely heavily on grant contributions, but the things that our families use on a daily basis, pretzels for snacks, laundry detergent, all of those pieces that Fred and Brenda, who are truly our angels, um, go out and shop and bring to our center. Um, you are helping families every day have a safe place to rest and sleep and stay while they look for housing. Um, so we feel very blessed to be part of the North Brothers family and are just honored to be amongst the recipients here. I'm Pastor Benito, and I'm the Director of Life Home Missions here at Westland. And just to give you an idea, we fed over 26,000 people just this last year, and we housed so many. And we wouldn't be able to do anything if it wasn't for people making donations and caring and giving. So I want to personally, you know, thank you to the North Brothers and to everybody here, because there's a lot of people out there that's really hurting, and I know you know that. And it takes all of us together to reach that need, and we wouldn't be able to help people if it wasn't for people giving. So I want to say God bless every one of you. Thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you. Um, I'm Marcy Fitch. I'm the volunteer manager on this very day today. I'm really good to be here. Um, but really, without the, the generosity of our community, um, we couldn't do what we do. So but thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We are now one of the largest uh, food rescues in the nation. Last year, uh, we rescued 45.5 million pounds of food. So um, with this generous check, we'll be able to feed uh, almost 5,000 families because of your generosity. And one thing I wanted to mention to you, uh, we now have a farm in Fenton. So we've already harvested over 500,000 pounds um, of fresh vegetables that are going out to our clients as well. So thank you so much. Yes. foremost, uh, I'm a firm believer that our schools are only as strong as the communities that support them. And that is truly a reflection in what we've seen today, in your generosity, your giving, your big heart. Um, Perry Rue and his team 
came to our school, offered us this incredible opportunity along with North Brothers Board. And not only did they provide us with a wonderful donation, but they also did all of the work to make it all happen. So, I mean, what, what a gift. And again, this donation will provide not only educational opportunities, but also we have a lot of struggling families in our communities, as we all know, and this will provide them scholarship opportunities, opportunities to go beyond our community and to do great things within a, a global society. So thank you so much for all of your, your time, your efforts, and please know that everything you do is appreciated and it touches lives beyond what you can imagine. So thank you so much for supporting our schools and our community. I guess that wraps up our really lengthy presentation, but thank you for your patience. Thanks for all of your support, and the food line is open, so enjoy lunch. <laughs> okay.